Hello folks and welcome to today's video. I'm standing right outside Sumlang Lake once again with the backdrop of Mount Mayo. But I've come here to try out some Bicolonian food. Yes, I've come to this particular restaurant that's located inside Sumlang Lake called Socorro's Lakeside Restaurant. And it's just behind me over there and that's why they call it Lakeside because it's right by this small little lake called Sumlang Lake. But look at this monument that they've got out here right in front of Mount Mayon. It's beautiful. Today seems like one of those days where Mount Mayon is actually pretty exposed. There's not a lot of clouds shrouding it. And there's plenty of seating areas to take in the view of Mount Mayon. I'm not sure if you can actually order from Socorro's restaurant and have your food um, delivered to one of these tables here where you can eat it outside with a view. It'd be really nice if you could. But uh, these are the type of restaurants that I want to see more in the Philippines. The country needs to capitalize on the nation's beauty by opening up restaurants like this, opening up places to eat with wonderful, spectacular views of the natural scenery. And Mount Mayon is one of the best places to do that in the Bicol region. Well, we've even got some rafts here. Oh wow, these folks are actually walking along it. Look at that, Mount Mayon reveals itself. But anyway, I've purposely not eaten anything for today. The time is around about 1 p.m. and so I'm gonna be grabbing lunch from here. This is gonna be my first meal of the day. Just some words of advice. If you're actually looking for Socorro's Lakeside restaurant, do not type it in on Google Maps because it took me somewhere completely different from this location. Just type in Sumlang Lake and then inside Sumlang Lake, as I mentioned earlier, you will find Socorro's restaurant. Ticket for parking and entrance fee. 100 pesos, 20 pesos for the parking. Thank you. All right, this is the cafe and restaurant. Quite a nice outdoor dining area. Same here too. Where does one order? Or does one take a seat anyway? All right, is this the cafe, the restaurant? Restaurant is... Um, oh, next door, is it? Downstairs. Oh. Oh, downstairs, okay. I mean, let's just take a look at the view of Mount Mayon from here. Whew. Beautiful. Ah, I see. The restaurant is just across over there, around the perimeter of the lake. So we can go down here and access it. Wow, it's set up so nicely. Whoever the owner of this restaurant is, you can tell they put a lot of thought into the design of it. Okay, we've got the staircase here. Damn. It's got this very Spanish exterior theme, doesn't it? All right, folks, I've managed to find a seat in the corner of this restaurant with the backdrop of Mount Mayon. And I'm just having a look at the menu. And this menu is pretty good. I've ordered about four items. I went with the, of course, the very famous crispy uh, Bicol Express. Then I also ordered some sisig, a bangus frito, Socorro's fried rice, as well as these small little bites called lang, lang bites, which is basically these pinangat cubes rolled in egg and breadcrumbs and then deep fried. But the pricing on this menu is so good. Like each main meal, which looks like a very significant portion size, is around about 300, under 400 pesos. And this, is what I really want to try. This is supposed to be very, very famous in the area of Bicol. Here they've called it the Crispy Bicol Express. I hope it's crispy and not crunchy. Wait, is that that liver sauce? But just completely smothered over the lechon kawali? I don't know, it might be. I'm really living the dream out here in Bicol, folks. This place is amazing. for my four or five dishes to arrive. Let's go around a little bit more around this area, around the porch of the restaurant and go up to the lake as well because I do see a beautiful little bench positioned in the corner there with a wonderful view of Mount Mayon and the lake that I want to go and sit at. Are you seeing that? That is picture perfect, folks. Look 
completely made out of wood, made out of some timbers. It's quite creaky. It does feel very ancient on this seat, but it's relatively comfortable and it's nice and warm because the sun's been radiant on it for a while. Oh, I've just been told that the food has arrived, so that wasn't very long. Oh, the sissing's arrived, but not anything else. I wonder why they do that. What am I supposed to do? Just eat the sissig by itself? But anyway, let's take a look at the sissig. Looks absolutely delicious. Wow, more food's arriving. Woo! Oh, look at that, Sakura's rice. That looks like a portion size for three or four people. Yes, look at that. Okay, do we have one more dish to fish, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Holy crap. I told you I ordered a feast here. We're just now waiting for the Bangus Frito to arrive right here. Let's take a look at the sisig. Wow, it looks so colorful. You can see the bits of pork in there, the bright, vibrant red, the egg in the middle, drizzled with mayonnaise on top, and a calamansi on the side, along with a chili. Oh, that just completely flaked off. Looks so beautiful. And we can't forget about the beautiful purple onions. Now we've got Sokoro rice, which is an in-house recipe rice that contains bits of pork in there, ham, onions, all garnished off with spring onions. Yes, Paul. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks very much. Complete. Thank you. This is the Bicol Express here. Wow, we've got bits of pineapple in there. Lechon koali looks good and crispy. The sauce, mmm, smells savory. I don't know if that's coming from the sissing or not. And then we've got the fish here as well, the bangus frito. Oh my goodness me. I haven't eaten fish in a while, so I'm looking forward to digging into that. And then we've got these small little bites here. That's basically bits of rolled up egg and breadcrumbs deep fried. They're very presentable. All right, it's time to dig in with this view over Mount Mayo. Look at that. I mean, where do I start? Let me start by mixing the sisig, of course. Get a bit of calamansi here and start drizzling it on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, this is too appetizing, folks. All right, here we go for our first bite of the sisig. Mmm. I will need a little bit with rice. Oh my god, that is fantastic. Wow, it's so creamy and soft. And then the crunchiness of the onions adds to the flavor as well. It's savory, yet it has sweetness from the sauce. Mm -hmm. The rice has this subtle sweetness flavor as well. Very, very subtle. I think that's because of the, um, the bits of pork in there as well. But we gotta try the Beacol Express now. Let's see what this is like. You know, I've tried Lechon Kawali. Almost in every province that I, that I can. The Bicol Express here is supposed to be pretty special. So let's go in right now. Wow. The Electron Koali has a texture range from super soft, buttery smooth, all the way to really crunchy. And that's the skin on the outside. You can hear the crunch, crunchy. It's not crispy, it's crunchy. You know, the sauce here, which is some sort of coconut infused sauce with, I guess, pineapple. It has a bit of kick, it has a spicy kick to it. It's not super overpowering, but it's subtle, and you can feel it in the back of your throat the more you dig into the sauce. It's, it almost tastes similar to like a fish cake, but just in these small little bites. But I love the way they've been presented on this. So good, right? Very, very unique. These things perfectly fit the plate. All right, folks, I'm done talking. Like, I love making these food videos, but I also hate them at the same time because I just want to dig in and stuff my belly. I'm running out of patience to talk to the camera. Let's get a crack at that fish before I go completely silent and indulge. Is that mango on there? It looks like mango. Oh, it is. Mango and cucumbers. Never had mango with fish but somehow it goes very well. The fish is a bit soggy. I would prefer for it to be a little bit more crispier, especially the skin. I think it's gone soggy because of the onions and the cucumber and the mango that's been sitting on top of it. My two favorite dishes has to be the Sissic and the Bicol Express. 
the flavor from these very two dishes. You must try these two. I've just finished up. I am so full. There was no way in hell I was gonna finish all that food. I think I pretty much left half the food on the plate, but I'm gonna be taking it away because it's so delicious and it'd be a shame for me to just leave it here and throw it away. So I'm gonna bring it with me. That's probably gonna be my dinner for tonight as well. And um, unfortunately I didn't leave any of the lechon koali. I indulged all of that, but I still got half the sisig and pretty much about 80% of the fish left. And I couldn't even get through half that Sokoro rice mountain. But anyway, let's continue with the exploration of this lakeside restaurant. The house in which the restaurant is tucked in seems to be a fusion between Spanish stone houses and Asian tropical housing. I had to look at the interior architecture earlier and it kind of blew my mind. I think it's the first time I've seen architecture of this style. Let's go inside. And let me show you what I mean. Let's speak about it a little. So the ground floor seems pretty contemporary and new, but it's when you start heading up this staircase that it's quite mind boggling. It's really a trip to the past. You've got these sheets here that have got these like square cutouts that you can slide in and out and look down onto the street level. These little squares in which you see are actually made out of oyster shells. Apparently they have really good thermal properties. Not only that, they allow light to enter the house as well. They diffuse the intensity of light coming into the house. And you can set this up however you want like this. If you notice at the top here, there's these beautiful floral cutouts of plants, right? But that's not only just a design, but they also have a purpose. And that's to allow airflow to run in between the rooms and through the windows, such that there's good ventilation in these sort of houses. But these gaps at the top here don't really serve much of a purpose if they've got air conditioning units installed into the wall. But you know, the aircon is off at this moment in time, I believe. It's not running. Yes. And it's pretty cool in this house. There's not a lot of houses left like this in the Philippines. I haven't come across many of them. I do like the balustrades here. I do wonder how much of this is new and how much of it is old. I get the feeling because of the color of the timber. I don't know if this is a heritage building or if it's been shaped in a way to look like a heritage building, but they've done a fascinating job. It's very, very beautiful. Hi man, can I get the bill? Yes. You accept card or cash? Okay. Cash. Cash only. Where's the bill? 1,365 pesos for all of that. Very good. Okay. Uh, cash only, huh? Uh... And there we are. We've got our food packed. We paid the bill, which was 1,365 pesos. And we're now gonna go back to the car and leave some Lang Lake here. Well, folks, I'm gonna wrap up today's video here. If you enjoyed today's video of me showing you this restaurant and the lake, as well as me trying out some local Filipino cuisine here, Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video, share it with friends and family, and I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and bye from Mount Mayon. Bye for now.